kind of glad this renovation has taken this long. It's okay to have empty space in your kitchen. Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of kitchen reorganizing as well as a little bit of decluttering in this space. We've done a little bit of kitchen reconfiguration in this last week and things are just all out of order now. So when I go to make food, everything all scattered around the kitchen. So we need to take care of that today. But before I do that, I wanted to quickly just kind of walk y'all through the layout of this kitchen. So if you have been around any of my channel, you know we have an unfinished kitchen. And I made a video, I guess it was almost a year and a half now, when we still had bare studs in this whole space. Our kitchen used to be very closed off from the rest of the house, and that's just not the floor plan, plan I like. I like an open kitchen into the living space, and it was just so close. So we knocked out walls, so there were bare studs. If you've seen our floor, we still have marks on our floor where the existing walls were because we have not yet covered our floors but that will eventually come so the kitchen when I made that video like a year and a half ago I thought for sure the next time I made a kitchen remodel video this kitchen would be remodeled well it's not I recently quit my full-time teaching job last year so that really basically cut our income almost in half so all of the saving and the home renovation projects kind of halted we still can do a little bit here and there but we more or less have to like really save for a project and then something else comes up and the kitchen just gets pushed to the side so we will eventually have a finished kitchen but uh, and living with what we have, I'm actually really liking the setup of our kitchen now that we've done a little bit of moving around. And if you saw last week, we no longer have an oven. We sold our antique 1950s oven that I loved. So we found a good deal on our new oven and we knew that it was time. We knew that old oven was just temporary. So I've actually been living without an oven now for five days now. So that's been really interesting. We've had lots of instant pot dinners, crock pot dinners. And dinners on the griddle my husband's been grilling a lot so we've been making do but that oven transition is kind of what has transitioned this kitchen remodel sort of not really a dreamy remodel because we still have these old countertops we still have these old cabinets but i'm just going to quickly walk y'all through the plants for this so over here is where our oven used to be now this is an old cabinet that actually was in our kitchen when we moved here but when we knocked out some walls right here where this island now is that cabinet well when we knocked out that wall we went ahead and moved this out into our gym garage area just to have countertop out there well now we needed a countertop space again on each side of our oven so that is one change that has happened this corner over here is pretty much the same it's our little lazy susan corner that wraps around the rest of the kitchen we also recently had a dishwasher failure so we no longer have a dishwasher but i'm working on getting a curtain right here to take the place of that so we don't want to like get rid of the dishwasher altogether because when you, if we ever resell the home we know that dishwashers do help with resale value many people want a dishwasher we just don't use it enough to replace it so that is going to have a curtain there just, and then these cabinets right here actually moved around the kitchen to finish out my kitchen wall actually used to be over here where the oven now sits but i really like how this kitchen now flows um we are getting our oven the end of the week so future videos i'll show you all the new oven it will be going right there so i'm really excited about that my husband will also be hanging these matching shelves on this side and then eventually we'll have a nice range hood here in the middle so everything is going to be so nicely balanced i do love how we now have this long flow of counters i actually have some counter workspace though our countertops are not finished our cabinets are not refinished um it is a lot more I feel like the kitchen is more functional now. So, and this wall, it is gonna eventually be brick paved. It's gonna match the same brick from our columns that are on either side of the kitchen. So I can now truly envision the wall, the beautiful window, but we're just not there yet. The brick wall has been on hold because we have to have the countertops and the cabinets installed before we can put the brick wall because of how everything meets together. So one dilemma we've come across is these cabinets. I personally was okay to keep the cabinets, repaint them and change out the doors and the hardware. But my husband pointed out, we actually don't have enough cabinets. So if you see this little space down here, our cabinets need to reach this door. So we're a little short, probably 10 to 12 inches there. And then also over here by the oven, the oven will be situated. The oven actually needs to meet 
even with this shelf. So again, we're short about six inches of cabinet, which is kind of a shame because these cabinets are not the worst of cabinets and they could easily be fixed up with new doors, hardware, and a little paint. But we're just short a few inches in several places. So but whether, rather than trying to piece old cabinets and new cabinets together, we are eventually gonna invest in new cabinets, just not quite sure when that day will come. With that being said, that leaves us with this mismatched countertop. And I'm gonna ask y'all's opinion here and y'all let me know down below what you would choose. But the original owners had this here and I would have loved for them to have just left that here. We would have just had black, this linoleum countertop instead of grout tile. I personally do not like tile in a kitchen for the grout lines because they're so hard to clean. So. I don't know why they actually resurfaced that countertop with grout and tile, but they did. So that's what we still have. But temporarily, we might be experimenting with concrete countertops. My husband has agreed to hopefully test out a one little slab of concrete over here on this little mini this little mini shelf over here and see how it goes. We're total newbies at this. I personally love concrete countertops. He's more of a granite person, white granite, but we'll see what we like. Um, we're gonna probably test out one space here. We're gonna just lay a slab of concrete and put it on there. We're not gonna fix it yet to the countertops because again, these are not permanent. And then once we do get our permanent countertops and cabinets, the slab will move out into our gym countertop area, into our garage. So that's kind of the plans here. I was excited that he actually agreed to test out and experiment with the concrete countertops because I personally love the look of them. We've also dabbled a little bit with butcher block, the concrete, and then granite. So let me know down below what you have and if you have like, if you've had one or the other and which one is your preference. We will have the white shiplap here and then we have the brick pavers on this column and then like I said, we'll have brick papers over here around this window meeting with that shiplap. So we'll have, we have several different contrasting colors of the brick and the shiplap. And then we're just kind of still dabbling on the countertops. But I'm kind of glad this renovation has taken this long because it's really given us time to think about and really dream up exactly how we want our kitchen to be laid out. So with that being said, my kitchen is still pieced together. It is still not finished, but it feels more cohesive. Like everything finally feels like it's in the spot that it's supposed to be. Um, if you ever saw my previous, previous videos, we actually had a little peninsula of a kitchen oven space sticking out into the middle of this kitchen. This kitchen was so broken up, it did not flow well, and I feel like it finally flows. Minus the fact that I have silverware way over here, pots and pans way over here, dishes way over here, dishes scattered everywhere. These dishes are waiting to have shelves hung, to be placed up on the shelves. Everything is just scattered. So real quick, I'm gonna tackle some of that. I'm gonna do a little bit of decluttering as I go through these cabinets. So let's just see what I can come up with for reorganizing, but I just kinda of wanted to quickly walk y'all through the layout for this kitchen and just kinda of show you what we're working with now. And hopefully, 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 within the next year to year and a half, we'll have a finished kitchen. So this is where our cabinets have been pieced together. It's beautiful, huh? But working with what I have, thankful for what I have, I'm just grateful to have a kitchen to cook in and cook food for my family. I actually already somewhat emptied this drawer. I'm just gonna take everything out, wipe everything down good, and do some reorganizing. This is kind of my kids' things. This is our water bottle drawer. We actually recently lost all of our Hydro flasks with our Epic water filters attachment. So I've got to get some more of those. But in the meantime, I brought down some other ones, but now we have too many. So you see they don't have lids because I've got to order some more of my filter lids that go into here and filter our water. I've talked about them before on this channel, but I'm not going to get rid of these because these are going to be great for when my kids need their own water bottle, but I'm going to store them in our basement or attic temporarily. This is a tea steeper that I never use. That's gonna go. That's gonna go. Another epic water bottle. Lid. This needs to go in the baking area. This needs to go with the kids stuff. Here are extra bottle top lids when I reorder the filter so that door looks much better. I do keep just a few of my kids' plates and bowls down low so they can easily reach them and learn independence for getting and making their own plates. 
pockets. Um, I don't know yet where I wanna put these. Okay, this is one of those drawers that needs to be relocated because this is a lot of my cooking things that I need near the oven and now we're across the kitchen since the kitchen has been a little bit reconfigured. All that needs to move. All of these things are baking tools like my bread tools, mixing bowls, mixing cups. They need to be relocated across the kitchen to where the new oven is going to be. Okay, so I have a nice empty drawer that I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with. But guys, you know what? It's okay to have empty space in your kitchen. I actually love empty space. I'm sure I'll find some things to put into here, but I'm actually pretty excited about an empty drawer. Okay, here's all our utensils. Some of this does need to be sorted through, but I am gonna relocate this over to the other side as well because I found when I'm plating plates, and I, want, I go to grab a utensil, it's, they're all the way across the kitchen. So for me, the last couple of days, this has not been working. These are kids, a few of my kids' things, which I probably can move down to their basket. I think I am gonna do that. Yeah, all of this. Dirty. This drawer has not been cleaned out in quite a while shake this off and wow this needs to be vacuumed extremely bad I did not realize how bad this drawer was okay this is now empty I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do there but it's empty and free to go this is gonna relocate to the other side of the kitchen after I take everything out and clean everything. <laughs> Utensils that we no longer use are came with this knife that I don't need, so this is gonna be donated. I personally don't like straight straws. I prefer the bent ones, so I think I'm gonna see how many of these I have and probably get rid of a few of those straight ones. Okay, we've gotta get all of this put into these two drawers neatly. Here are pots and pans. This is pretty much organized already. My griddle that I've been cooking on the last week. Put it up since we've been ovenless. So I saw this hack forever ago where you take one of those racks and you stack all of your pot lids, pot and skillet lids in. So I'm gonna go grab that from the basement and then see if I like that in here for all of the lid storage. I never like storing lids on top of pots. I just, I feel like it's not the most effective. If you have a better effective system for storing pots and pans with their lids, please let me know down below. So here it is. I've had this in our basement for a couple years and I've debated on keeping it or not, but uh, I'm just gonna see how I like this. more they probably wouldn't have fit but I only have four so I think I'll leave it for now see how we like it so all the pots and skillets over here griddle and the lid so we'll see how that goes or if my children are constantly trying to get them out kitchen towels so now that I have those empty drawers down there I think I'm gonna put all of our kitchen towels to that drawer that big drawer because they're kind of just stuffed under here and they're hard to get to 
So that's gonna be a better solution. I, I don't know yet what I'm gonna put here, but again, it's okay to have empty cabinets. watching this mini kitchen reorganize and declutter if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so it helps me out so much for others to see my videos like this thank y'all so much for being here and i'll see you hopefully one day in this renovated kitchen Bye.